hello welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna do a what sold and wrap with me video um these are just gonna be overnight sales and it was just overnight i woke up to one two three four five five sales one on ebay and four on poshmark i am a full-time reseller on poshmark and ebay i started ebay back in 1999 started posh in 2016. my closet can be found at mcware for you so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I sold was this Vanity Fair underwire bra. And it was a size 38 double D, very popular size. And it sold for, I took an offer for 16 because I had it um, listed for a very long time. Like a very long time, two years long time. Vanity Fair used to be popular, but now Wacol is popular and Vanity Fair is not. So I'm um, wrapping it. I wouldn't pick up Vanity Fair again. So that's why I took the offer. So I have it here. I have my little thank you stickers that I get on AliExpress. So let's take one of those and they just say, thank you for supporting my business, which is great. Put her on like that. And then if it sold on eBay, I would be putting, um, I would use a white PVC envelope because on eBay everything ships ground and that's just to keep cost down for my buyers but on Poshmark they don't offer ground so I ship priority mail and of course on both platforms they're the ones that pay for shipping and I already have my labels printed out that is a question that I get asked a lot is how do you make any money paying by paying for shipping? And I don't offer free shipping um, for that very reason. I wouldn't make I wouldn't make any profit. And this is my full time job. So what are we doing? We are folding it. And this is the shipping label that I already printed out beforehand. Most people use the Dymo printer, which I do have a similar one, but I'm just super old fashioned. I've always done it this way. And eventually I will go back, or not go back, I never started. I do have one, I just never, I've never used it set up though. All right, and label goes on. And that's what it looks like. All right. And this is the second item. Stand back here. This is a beautiful lemon by Anthropology swim cover up with tassels. Slips over the head. Oh, I think I picked this up in December or January. I have actually two of them listed. These are adorable. And um, I put it in a plastic bag first. When you're buying secondhand, when you're getting secondhand in the mail, it just, a lot of people just don't even bother with the plastic stickers. They just throw it in a bag any old way. And well, that is fine, you could do that. It just doesn't have that specialness when you open it and everybody likes to have that specialness when something is new or secondhand in my opinion. So that's how she looks. And we're going to take a priority mail because this was a Poshmark order. And put it in the bag and seal her up. I would have had about 15 things to wrap and this probably would have been a more interesting video falling down a little bit fix it there but I wrapped everything last night and it was late and my lighting was horrible so I don't want to make any mistakes here here we go um my lighting you know is, is horrible at night so I just wrapped all the others but I did have 11 packages over the weekend to wrap and I did wrap them last night so so, and then five things overnight. So it was a pretty good sales um, sales week. Okay, so this lemon anthropology sold for $25. And that was an offer that I took of $25. I had it listed for $35. Again, that's what she looks like. Okay, and the next we're going to be doing are some Kato jeans. Um, these were mine. I only wore them a couple times and they're just a little bit too big they are size 18 and i'm a 16 i thought i could make them work and i can't 
But the style was really cool. They're like a jogger, Kato jogger. And so, as you know, or maybe don't know, but Kato is not a very expensive brand. We have one in the city, and um, their clothes are pretty much, I think, all under $30, unless you're getting a coat or something. Again, you're folding it in the bag to make it feel a little more special. Take a little sticker. And there we go. And priority mail envelope. So yeah, I don't usually ever pick up Kato's unless it's obviously for myself. And even then, I'm kind of trying not to pick up Kato's. Only because um, everything that I source for myself get the air out of it. It's not fitting in the bag. Everything that I source for myself and keep, which I do have a haul coming of things that I sourced um, with last week's Goodwill sale, which was a half half off everything long sleeves and jackets and joggers and such. They had a four day sale. And so I did purchase maybe about six or seven things for myself. And when I say half off, instead of $5 is what I usually pay for each item. It was only $2.50 per item. So getting back to it, I try to only pick up and wear for myself things that are branded well and that I know will sell if I get bored or not like them. And I get bored very easily. Um, unless it's vintage, I think I wear each outfit maybe three times max and then I'm reselling it and purchasing new. And yes, I know that's crazy, but I think I would have I wouldn't want to be doing that if I wasn't a reseller. But I buy things knowing that I could wear it a couple times, wash it, and then on to the next thing. Keeps life interesting. Okay. <laughs> so these are the Kato jeans. Okay, and we've got two jackets. Um, okay. Oh, the Kato jeans sold for again. I'm looking down at my book. The Kato jeans sold for $18. I had them listed for, I think, $25. Took the $18 offer because they probably cost only $25 new. So the $18 offer I took. And moving right along to the best sale was this patchwork jacket. And I have been sitting on her because I was hoping to get $100. Um, I paid $10. I paid $10 for this vintage plus size jacket. And it's very hippie, wide. I mean, it's just screaming 70s at me. And so I did have this listed on eBay for $150. And I think on Posh, I had it listed for $125. And somebody offered, I think, $50. And I countered the $85. Um, and they took it. So when I counter... I always let the person know that um, if if Posh wasn't going to be taking 20%, then I would probably be able to, I don't think I would do 50, but maybe 65 or 70. But since Poshmark does take a 20% commission, I always like to tell them that when I counter so they don't think I'm just, I don't know. I just do. <laughs> so I'm recycling. She doesn't fit in a clear bag, so I'm recycling an Amazon box. So um, I sold it for 85. Keep in mind, I paid 10 and Poshmark takes a 20% commission. So I profited about 50 bucks, which is wonderful because I try to profit actually 25 to $30. Again, with the stickers. So profiting 50 works fine for me. Putting a little sticker on her and putting her in this. Sorry, it's so noisy. In the box. Oops. Have some addresses there that I need to take care of. Didn't realize that. So yes, when recycling, you have a bunch of people on Posh that want you to recycle, you know, because it is better for the environment to recycle. And I definitely support that. But you have other people if you do recycle, I think I've mentioned this before, if you recycle a box or a re recycle a bag, they get very upset because again, it doesn't feel special because it's not new. So really you can't really win. You have to use your best judgment. Sometimes um, when someone buys something, I'll look at their, their profile page to kind of determine 
if, I mean, stereotyping obviously, but to determine whether they are environmentalists or if they, if they might like a new versus not new. Um, and that's worked good for me, except for one time, which was, was just bad judgment. I had a lady get very upset because I recycled a bag. And she made sure to tell me why she was upset. So, you do not know. Okay. And that is the jacket. So, I've got the label here ready. Anyways, so I do have my friends usually save packaging materials for me to recycle. Because, yes, of course I would like to recycle things. But um, sometimes you've got to use a judgment call and... If they are selling all Chanel and Louis Vuitton and like maybe some designer brands, again, there's the box to rip the label off. And then that's the patchwork coat in there. Okay, moving right along. So this was the other blazer, which I was recently thinking of keeping it for myself. It's so funny. So it's a vintage oversized by Corat vintage blazer um, made in Cambodia. And it's a wool blend, houndstooth, navy, and kelly green with one button, faux pockets. Okay, so I had this listed for 50, but because we're heading into spring and um, summer, I took an offer of 39. If it was winter, I probably would have countered by five, but I do want to move out some winter things if I can. So, I took the $39 offer. I paid blazers. I think I paid $5.99 for this blazer. So, took a $39 offer. Nope, it's not fitting in the bag after all. I took a $39 offer and Posh took 20% from that. So I'm going to be putting it just like the jacket it, uh, wrapped in a piece of paper. So when things don't fit in those plastic bags, I do need to order larger ones so I don't have that happen because I really like to put everything in a nice bag just in case, oops, just in case these bags, PVC from Amazon, just in case they rip in, um, let's see, I'm not sure where this is going. This is going to New York City. Yeah, New York City. So just in case, you know, weather in New York City, I'm not even sure, but they, in case they have snow or whatever, still sometimes those pvc bags do you wrong and they rip and it's nice to have that extra bag so that um the garment doesn't get soiled i do have a little story of back in the day when i first started and i was not using those bags at all i was just you know for example slipping shipping the wool blazer and um where are my stickers they're buried shipping it any old way pretty much in an envelope and she did send pictures so i mean she was being honest but it arrived and it was like completely soiled with grease it was really bad and tire tire marks like i don't know she sent me a picture of tire marks and grease and said that it got run over I, I don't even remember how I handled it. I mean, obviously I said I was sorry, but like I'm not the male people. So there was really nothing I could do, you know? And so I advise, I did advise her to contact her post office and say something. And she said, okay, she wasn't really nasty when I told her that, which sometimes people are because I don't know if they think that you are in cahoots with the post office or what, but sometimes people just, you know, are having a bad day and and tell you to deal with it as a seller. Okay, so this is going ground. And that was the last item. So we got these five items plus the 11 items from over the weekend. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. And if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you want to see more. And I will talk to you later. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.